Yo, what's good? It's Josh. Welcome to the channel. What's up, party people? If you're trying to collaborate with other people that use Ableton, you've probably been exporting stems or sending project files. If you're doing this, this video is for you. You're missing out on a way easier way to do this. I actually just learned this. Wish I knew it sooner. And so now I'm going to teach it to you. All right, to share this idea today, I'm going to be using the Josh running it up hard beat idea. Kenny beats TikTok. Pretty excited about it. Let's dive right into it. All right, so what you want to do first is if you have any MIDI files, you want to freeze them. You want to do this just in case they don't have the plugins that you're using to generate these sounds. After you do this, you want to go to File, Select All, and Save. Copy these exact settings, hit OK. All right, so the next step you want to take is go to File, Manage Files, go to Manage Project, and you want to hit this button, Collect into Project. Then you want to hit Collect and save. And from there, you wanna hit this create pack. Why not put it on the desktop? We don't need downloads or anything today. And just like that, bam, you have your own pack. You know what we're saying? We out here flipping packs. You know, we running it up. We going crazy out in these streets. Good work, good work. Let me tell you why you need to be using packs. And that's not just to generate that extra profit on the side. Think of a pack almost like a zip file. It's so annoying and difficult to send huge project files because they're so big. They take so long to send. And it's it just is not good for anyone involved. So what you want to do is use a pack file because it's compressed version of all the samples, all the settings, everything in your session, but it's just a smaller size format. This is going to allow you to send entire projects, presets, sounds way quicker, way easier, and it's going to be way less of a hassle on you and your computer. So what you would do is just get this ALP file. All right, it's going to ask you where you need to save it. Let's just put it on the desktop. So you go to the desktop and there's your project file right here. And then they would just be able to open it up. It has backup. It has all the samples included, uh, processed everything, and they would just open up the project file. And it's as simple as that. Now you might be asking, Josh, why can't I just zip it off like normal? And that's a good question. You, you could do that, but this is even better because it compresses it to an even smaller file size. So it's even easier to use. If you made it this far, appreciate you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe and comment if you learned something. I'm really trying to get to 100 subscribers. So help your boy out. Regardless, keep making some dope music this week. Appreciate you. Love you.